recent episode of the podcast, we talked about the Corvette ZR1X, ice rear axle, electric front axle. Now, being a tire engineer, I wanted to talk about the fact that this is going to make it go faster. However, I didn't actually get that much time to talk about it, so I'm going to do that right now. So you see, this is your tire. It has a forward velocity of the vehicle, a radius, and it has an angular velocity. Those are all necessary so that you can understand that equation. Slip percent. One minus the radius times the angular velocity over the forward velocity times 100 because it's a percent. You also need to know torque equals the moment of inertia times dw dt or the derivative of angular velocity with respect to time. That's important when you know that an ice vehicle versus an EV, an EV has instantaneous torque which goes constant and then decreases with respect to speed. Because of the function of an ICE motor, you are going to have different gears in the transmission. This gets smoother as you have more gears, but it's not going to be quite as good as this. That matters because tire forward force is proportional to the slip ratio, and that slip percentage is going to come up and peak at some value and then go down. Ice vehicles don't do a very good job at hitting that torque necessary to modulate this wheel speed that is necessary to hit optimum peak, but an EV is really good at that, and for such a reason, EV optimizes for slip. 